Hi guys, welcome to this video. In the previous lecture, we learned about the structure of the Android files. In this video, we are going to create this button and this hello world from scratch in a coding manner. We are not just going to drag this into our scene, into our view. So the first thing we are going to do is look, have a look at this text file. Now as you can see, it has something known as a relative layout. We don't want a relative layout as it is complex to understand. What we are going to do is change this to linear layout like this. Now it has been changed to linear layout but as you can see they are showing some errors over here. Now these both are used with relative layout and not with linear layout so we are going to remove both of them. Now as we have removed both of them there will, you will see some changes. So th there is this hello world and there is this new button. Now we are also going to remove the padding. Now what is padding? For example you can see there is a little gap over here and also on the top over here. So these gaps are because of padding. So for example, if you go to the padding left and make it as something as like zero, sorry, zero dp, then you will be able to see that there is no gap now. But if we change it to something like 30 dp, there will be much more gap over here. So this is for having a gap. That's pretty much it. Now as you can see some of these files are showing as at the rate dimension. Now this is what we talked about. In this values folder there are files known as dimension.xml. If you open them you can see that activity vertical margin and activity horizontal margin are as filled as 16 dp. Now instead of doing at the rate dimension you can just simply also just remove it, pressing backspace and just put in 16 dp manually. That will also work. But for our application, we don't want any margin. That's why we are going to remove all the padding from over here. Now, if you are confused about what is this first line and what is the second line, don't worry about it. These are automatically generated by Android to understand what you are trying to do. Now, what is this Android layout width and layout underscore height? And what is this match parent? Now layout, layout width is basically how much width it's going to take. How much anything, for example, this text view, how much this width is this text view gonna take? So right now it's shown as match parent for linear layout. Now you have to understand that what is this linear layout? Now I have told you before that these are two smaller views and this is one big view which contains these two smaller views. So this big view is known as linear layout and inside this big linear layout these are two small views. Now what you are saying over here that the width of this view linear layout is match parent. What is basically saying whatever the width of its parent is the width of this linear layout is also the same. But the linear layout doesn't have a parent. What do I mean by parent is for example let's take this text view. As you can see this text view is inside the tags of linear layout. Linear, ta linear layout tag is starting over here and ending over here. And text view is inside the linear tag. So what we are trying to say here that the text view is a child of linear layout and linear layout is a parent of this text view. But linear layout doesn't have a parent. So what this match parent is going to do is going to give it its full width. And the same thing with layout height and match parent it's saying basically as you have no parent we are going to give you the full height now in text view the android layout width is wrap content what is meant by wrap content wrap content means that whatever the width of this text view is don't give it extra width just give it the width that it requires so if we change from wrap content to match parent now it's saying as match parent. So it's saying basically whatever the width of its parent is, give it the same width. Now it's showing some kind of error over here. It's saying it has multiple children and no orientation specified. So let's give it an orientation and I will make you understand what is orientation later. Let's call it vertical. All right. Now as you can go over here, it's showing, showing that hey, this linear layout has whole width as you can see this. Uh, so if you click on it, 
it's requiring the whole width but if we change it to wrap content again it's only going to take the width that is required as you can see by this box so this is what its wrap content is and especially it's the same thing with lay, lay, uh, layout height and saying wrap content so it's only taking the height which is required and not extra height and the same with this button so let's what we'll do is is we'll delete both of them and start from scratch but before this let me make you understand what is this android orientation vertical now what is happening is that what is linear layout let me first go a little back and make you understand what is linear layout so imagine a stack of books that are kept on each other you go to a library and there is a person who has a large stack of books on his hand the stack of books are in linear layout format so basically what happens in linear layout is one thing is stacked below the other or you can say one thing is stacked on top of each other so if we are going to add another button for example let's say we'll add another button is going to be stacked below this button not on the right of this button not on the right of this hello world this is because the orientation right now is vertical so they are all stacked in a linearly manner now if we change the orientation as horizontal let's change it to horizontal now the books or the element are stacked on the side of each other so they are still stacked like books on top of each other but they are rotated by a degree of 90 degree so they are stacked on right of each other instead of on top of each other so this is the difference between horizontal layout and the vertical layout let's change it to again vertical layout and this is the vertical layout so what we'll do is we'll delete all three of them and start from scratch and make them so right now our view doesn't contain anything as you can see there is nothing over here we just have an orientation of vertical so right now first we'll create a text view now if you need to know the element of name of element any element you can see plain text view so we know that we have to put text view element over here so we'll first put something like text view and it will automatically generate android layout width and layout height for us and let's click on wrap content and or we can press enter let's press enter and we can press enter again it has generated a text view for us but right now we can't see anything because we don't have any text so let's put in some text we can do this by typing text -E and it will show an option of android text we'll just double click on it and we'll write the text as avenger browser as you can see a very small text over here has appeared now let's increase the size of this text we can increase the size of the text by putting in something like size and it's showing and help of android text size we'll double click on it and we'll call it as 30 db so see the size has increased for the text now we want to put a button over here so let's press enter and click make a button by typing in button and pressing enter it has automatically generated the layout width and height for us let's click enter again and enter again and let's click on design as you can see a button has been generated for us but it doesn't have anything written in it so let's give it a text and let's call it um, go go avenger browser go so we have created a button on our own and avenger browser on our own and we have learned what is vertical stacking and what is horizontal stacking so for example right now it's in vertical stacking if you change it to for example horizontal this enter is going to be on side of each other so that is pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next video because this video has already become too long